DocuSign CLM document reports let you gather and analyze data from documents. A document report can be viewed by a CLM user who has been granted access to a report or assigned delegated permissions to create reports. Let's create a document report that uses contract metadata from sales contracts that were effective in the first quarter of the year. The sales manager wants this report to monitor their team's performance. The final report will include the effective date, customer name, and a summary of the total contract amount. Additionally, the sales manager has requested the contracts be grouped monthly to present at their sales meeting. To create the report, click Reporting, New Report, then Document Report. Enter a report name and a description, then click Create Report. To configure the filters, start by selecting All Time from the Created Date drop-down. This will include all documents, regardless of when they were created. Click Select a Filter, and then select Document Attributes. In the Select Attribute Fields dialog box, click the Sales Contracts Custom Attribute group, select the Effective Date attribute, and then click Apply. Now, set a range of effective dates by changing All Time to Custom Date Range from the drop-down. Then set the From Date and the To Date. To add the metadata required for the report, click the Customize Columns icon, then click Add Columns. In the Add Columns dialog box, Click the Sales Contracts Attribute group, select the Effective Date, Customer Name, and Contract Amount Attributes, then click Apply. Scroll to the bottom of the list to verify the columns you added are selected. Additionally, hide the columns you don't want to appear on the report, then click Apply. To group the report data by month, Click Add Dimension and then select Document Attributes. In the Select Attribute Fields dialog box, click the Sales Contracts Attribute group, select the Effective Date attribute, and then click Apply. The frequency is set to monthly by default, but it can be changed. Now that the configuration is complete, click Preview Report to run a test report. Verify the contracts are grouped monthly and the columns have been added. Notice the Total Contract Amount column summarizes the contract amount value for all reports. Save and run the report. By default, the report is only available to administrators. Administrators can configure access to a document report to allow an end user to view or export it. To share your new report with users and groups, select Edit from the Actions menu. Click the Access tab, then Add Users or Groups. In the Add Users or Groups dialog box, select the users you want to add, then click Apply. Click View and select whether they have View Only access or View and Export access. Save and run the report. The users and groups that were added now have access. Now that the document report for this use case is complete, you can create additional document reports selecting different attributes based on your business needs.